here with David Hatta from Template Edge Consulting. Hi, David. Hi. Hi, Gordon. How you doing? <clears throat> I'm doing fine. We're at uh, the Same Tech 2008 conference, and you're, I guess, the godfather of, of Same Tech. This was, a, I think, a, your original idea and concept, so it must be pretty exciting to see it uh, the way it is now. Well, it is. I, I am um, really pleased that Mike's been able to continue the conference for this long. Uh, as you know, ATE funding isn't forever, and so in 1994, when I got my first project, uh, I, I was working with uh, schools in Albuquerque and in Colorado Springs, as well as around Portland and in Oregon. And my original concept was, let's get together and not reinvent the wheel. So that first conference, I envisioned about 30 faculty members getting together from the three states. But as it is, Intel got involved and uh, word of mouth. We did no advertising and all of a sudden we had 90 people show up for the conference. The first, the first year you had 90 first, people? First year wow. and then we ran it again the next year. And then uh, the third year is when Maytech started and uh, we uh, co-sponsored it. Did that for a couple years with the help of a a small grant from the National Science Foundation and then the fifth conference in 2000 Mike took it over and his Matex run the conference ever since. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you were you well you're retired now but you were faculty right at, uh, at Port Portland, Portland Community, Community College? Portland Community College yes. Yeah. Um, I taught there for 32 years 22 in the electronic engineering tech program and the last 10 years in the semiconductor program and I worked with Intel to develop a associate degree program for their wafer fab techs. That's great. So you've seen it, a lot of change over that period of time. It's, uh, it must be interesting to see what it is, well, what the technology is now compared to what it was, you know, what, 30, 32 years ago? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah I, I can remember my first uh, NSF grant. I had this crazy notion that we should put computers in our electronics lab. <laughs> and uh, so I got a small grant from the National Science Foundation to uh, buy a, a, a computer. It had 4K memory, it ran basic, but it plugged into the wall. And uh, <laughs> those were the days of the computer center and uh, computer punch cards. And you'd go and punch your card deck, submit it, and then wait for hours for it to come back. <laughs> <laughs> for it to compile, I remember those yeah. days. <laughs> so, um, so now you're retired, but what are you, you're obviously not, not uh, relaxing at the beach or in the mountains somewhere. <laughs> you're here at the conference. What, you, what, is your, what is your business do now? Well, template educational consulting. I'm, I'm the only uh, employee, but I thought I'd use my experience in uh, community college teaching, working with industry, preparing technicians for the workforce, and uh, my experience with NSF projects, especially ATE projects. So my idea was to find uh, other projects that could use my help. Mm -hmm. And so instead of being PI for a project, I'm, I help community colleges run successful NSF ATE projects. Uh, that, so I'm working, I'm working with the Southwest Center for Microsystems Education. Um, with a power plant program in Kentucky, um, Normandale Community College in Bloomington, and then a, a film project in California with uh, Ruth Carranza and uh, Silicon Run Productions. So it's, a, it's an opportunity to get involved in a number of different areas and not just have to work on one project. Oh, great. That's great. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, maybe someday, if I retire, <laughs> I could do something like that <laughs> when I retire. I, that, that's, uh, that sounds well, like a lot start, of fun. Start thinking about it now. And, uh, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. the, the transition for me was pretty smooth because I'd been working with the University of New Mexico and other projects uh, before I retired, formally mm -hmm. retired. So. Um, now, if somebody would want to contact you, how would they get in touch with you? Uh, well, uh, there are several ways. Uh, you can always find me in the white pages in the Portland, Oregon phone book. Uh, you can email me at dhata at pcc.edu. Um, those, those are probably the two great. best ways. You can always Google me on, uh, on the internet. <laughs> great. Oh, great. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it must, uh, again, it must feel great. Uh, this is sort of your, 
you're the your baby, I guess, or something that you've you've raised up. So it's it's just been a fantastic conference. I think we've had a really uh, met a lot of really interesting people, great sessions, great presentations. So congratulations, that's excellent. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you.